Hi. Uh, hi, my name is Zach Thomas, and I'm incredibly excited to share this app, Catchlight, with you. I'm a photographer, and uh, when I go uh, for photo shoots, I usually go in a very, very short amount of time, uh, and I have very specific shots that I want to get. I might go somewhere uh, with a 16-hour window, I want to go to three places, and I want to get the perfect shot in each place. The problem that I have is that it's very difficult to research the exact light conditions on an exact date and time. If I want to be somewhere at 4 p.m., because that's the window that I have, what is that place exactly going to look like? What are the shadows going to look like? What is the light going to look like? I need a solution that helps me work more efficiently to solve this problem. And that's where Catchlight comes in. So for example, next month I want to go to Rome. I'm going to go to Rome in October. I'm going to start by just kind of searching widely in Rome, picking a couple of ideas of places I might want to go. Um, and so I think the first place I might want to look is the Trevi Fountain. So I'm looking at pictures and I start to come up with an idea in my head of specifically the light that I want to see. And my goal is to have the whole fountain kind of lit. I don't really want shadows from the buildings coming across the fountain. So I find these two photos. One of them is at 2.30 and it looks like another one is at 2.45. The 2.30 picture has the light that I want. It's across the fountain. There aren't shadows in uh, strange places. The 245 photo, it's not as good. I don't want this. There's shadows across the fountain. It just is not going to look as good in my photos. So I'm going to choose this photo. I'm going to choose this 230 photo. And I'm going to look at the photograph. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look at the information with the photograph. I now have the time. I have the location and I can start to get a sense of the gear that I'm going to need to take with me. My gear is extremely heavy and also extremely expensive, and I just prefer not to travel with everything. I want to have a very limited uh, set of gear, but I need to know specifically what I need to take with me. And so this app is going to help me. It's going to tell me uh, the focal length of the lens that was used, and so I can begin to plan as well. So I'm going to go to the Trevi Fountain at 2.30. I'm going to like this photo. Uh, and save it and begin to start to make a kind of timeline of my day uh, when I go to Rome. The next thing I'd like to do, I know I want to go to the Vatican. Uh, I really want to take a beautiful picture of the Vatican at night. In my head, the light isn't as important. What I really want to think about is when people are going to not be there as much. I don't want a bunch of people in the photograph. So I want a time that is going to give me the right light that I want, but with less kind of people in the photograph. So I have a couple examples here. I'm going to just kind of go through each of these examples. Uh, it looks like something around seven o'clock. The light is good, but there's too many people here. So I don't want to be there at that time. Um, it looks like maybe there's another photo at 11. And the light here looks pretty good. I like the light around the building. Uh, I like the way the lights look. And then there's a lot less people. So 11 seems to be the time that I want to be there. There's another photo later, but I don't like the way that it looks. It's too dark. I, I don't know. It's not as dynamic or interesting. So 11 o'clock. I'm going to choose this photo at 11 p.m. I'm going to, again, scroll through this. I'm going to check the information. I'm going to check the lens that I'm going to need. I'm going to like this photo and save it in my timeline. So now I have a sense of what my day is going to look like when I go to Rome. I'm only going to be there for one day. I know that I'm going to be at the Trevi Fountain in the afternoon and the Vatican at night. So I have a good sense of how I'm going to spend my time there. So I go to Rome. It's fantastic. The pictures are wonderful. I eat a ton of pizza and ice cream in this uh, 18 hours. It's fantastic. I take a couple pictures. I send them to my editor at the magazine. The pictures get published. I take five or six more. I put them on my Instagram to kind of grow my brand as a photographer. But I now have 75, 100, 200 photos left. And I think that these photos can help this community. So I want to share these photos here in this community so that other photographers can come on this website and see not the quality of my work necessarily, but the light that they're going to experience when they go to Rome on this day in October. The thing that I love about this website is that when you upload a photo, it's very easy. You just upload the photo. You don't have to include any of the data for yourself. 
the website just grabs the data, puts it on the photo, and then anyone who's going to use this website can see very quickly the, uh, the data that is, that is on this photo. Um, and then the location as well. Uh, so, next time that you go on a trip and you want to make sure that the conditions are perfect for the photograph that you want to take, I recommend you use catchlight.me uh, here. Uh, so, thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. I want to thank my team right here for, for helping me here and Stefan as well. So, thank you very much. Thank you for the teachers. Thank you for the staff of Le Wagon. Fantastic experience. Thank you.